I said I wouldn't be working over the weekend, but last night I got sent this like massive box came from Amazon. I was like, I haven't ordered anything from Amazon. Um, and then when I had a little sneaky peek, I realized it was something that came, um, something that had come that was being sent to me for review. And I was too freaking excited to wait until next week to do, <laughs> to do an unboxing video and I don't like to um I like to kind of do an unboxing video like fresh like I don't like to have looked at the products before I unbox them because I think the you're kind of like your kind of like first impressions or you're like oh, wow factor I think that's really hard to to do <laughs> like and also that's fake and I don't believe in giving fake reviews or fake opinions or anything so I wouldn't want to open a product and be like wow that's amazing and then film a video and be like oh wow that's amazing I like to open it and then you can get my honest opinions at the time so if you ever watch any of my reviews that's what I do and yeah I was just so excited I, I, I couldn't wait to for next week because I wanted to see what these products were like and as I said I needed to like open them whilst I was filming so you. And this is what I got and I can show you what I got because you will see the unboxing video before you see this studio vlog. Um, so yeah I've heard some like really good things about Arteza. They um, have been doing the rounds, they've been upping up their marketing game I'm sure on YouTube because I've seen loads of artists have been sent stuff for um, review. Um, and when I was approached by them I was like yeah that'd be awesome because I've heard really good things about them. and. Yeah, they sent me all of this stuff. They were actually really nice um, company to work for. Obviously, I haven't tried their their products out yet, so I don't know if they're actually good as like far as I think they're good. I've got a tickle in my throat. Hang on. I haven't got a drink in here, which is really annoying, and I don't want to go out and get one because John is just trying to settle the small person into into bed. Um, he's doing the bedtime routine like he mostly does because um, it's a good opportunity like I do books reading books and like I see her all day and I so I do like books and songs and kisses and hugs and stuff and then if I've got a bit of work to do it's kind of like a nice little time to do that um, yeah so I don't want to go out of the room because I'll disturb them if I go and get a drink that was a long explanation I know I know I know uh, yeah, so the company was really good. So they approached me and um, asked about doing a review. And I don't, I, t I do, t I do actually turn down a lot of reviews. Um, like a lot of companies do ask. And if I don't think it's a good fit with my channel, or to be honest with you guys, because most of the reviews, um, yes, you do get stuff sent the stuff for free, which is great. But the trouble is that isn't necessarily any good to you if you're not going to use the product. Like, I don't believe in just saying yes and taking free product just for free product, you know. Um, and sometimes if I'm being a bit cheeky it's never actually no one has ever actually said yes to me but if I'm being a bit cheeky and I think I like the product but I probably wouldn't really you you know whatever I have asked for like payment but no one has ever like, taken me up on that um but I think I don't think people realize how much time it takes to do reviews it's like yes don't get me wrong you get the free stuff but as I said like some companies like I was approached and they wanted me to do a review on a notebook and I'm like so it takes like 15 minutes to film a video and then however long to edit a video and thumbnails and descriptions and all that kind of that stuff. And it's like, if you don't, if you're not going to use the, 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 this sounds, probably, probably sounds ungrateful, but like, if you're not going to actually use the product, it's kind of like, you know, you're better off focusing on, focusing your time on something that you would actually use or doing something that you know that people definitely want to see because people have like a mixed reviews about mixed opinions about people getting stuff for free um and you know it's kind of like I don't also also don't want to do tons of like review or unboxing videos because I think people get a bit fed up of those so this company I was like I would be really happy to review, to review but can I choose the products because sometimes like 
who say yes to a company and they will send you the products that um, they want to send you, which I, I totally agree with because they those are the particular products that they want to market. Um, you know, those are the ones they want to sell. But again, like that might not fit very well. Like, um, you know, if you get something that you don't use, like I don't, I don't use gouache and I don't use oil. So if I'd have been sent those, I'd have been like, well, the packaging looks nice. <laughs> um, so I said to them, I was like, yeah, but can I choose the products? And they were like, yeah. So they said, what do you want? And I kind of looked, I, d I didn't want to be like cheeky or rude. And so I went on their website and I was like, right, okay, what would I actually use? What would be interesting to me? And what do I think you guys might like to see? And, um, and also like I can compare. So I went on the online and I was like, um, you could send me any of this, 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 this. And they're like, okay then. And then they came back and they were like, we're gonna send you this. So is that okay? And I was like, yeah, that's really cool. So yeah, they sent me like acrylics and canvases and um, <laughs> a mixed media pad, which is really good because it's stuff that I'll actually use. So a win for me. Um, that's like that's like my payment for doing the reviews and videos and stuff is that I've got products that I'll actually use, and also I can then also do a good comparison because I'll have used acrylic paints and sketchbooks before, so I can do a good comparison. So total win-win. So so far, so goody, and they've also let me set up um, affiliate links, which is good. Um, I don't know whether the affiliate links means that if you guys buy through it that I earn money or whether I get like store credit to buy more art supplies with their shop. I don't know, but um, but that's always really handy as well is if you can like have an, an affiliate link. So yeah, so I'm going to, at some point, I'm going to create some more videos. Um, I'm actually going to use this stuff. I don't know when, but I'm going to going to use this stuff and so we actually get to see what it's like, which is cool. Ah, oh, but this evening more snooker and some leftover some of my remaining Easter chocolate is calling, I think. Mm, haven't had anything to eat yet either. We had lunch. We had sort of a late lunch. We had a late breakfast this morning because we had a lay-in, which was lovely. Um, we had a lay-in, so we had a bit of a later breakfast, which meant we had a later lunch. So we haven't actually had anything for tea yet. I made meatballs, meat, meatballs, out of kidney beans. It was a recipe I got off avocado. Um, kidney beans and oats and walnuts. Really nice in a tomato sauce with pasta. So that was really nice. We had a late lunch, but now I'm like starting to get peckish. So go and have think, something for tea in a bit. Little ones being fed. <laughs> So yeah, ciao amigos. So good morning guys. It's um, eight o'clock on Friday and I'm working. Um, did you like the little flowers there that I did the date thing with? Um, that is a picture I posted on my other Instagram account, The Whimsical Cloud, of um, some wildflowers that we collected the other day on our walk and I thought it was pretty so I thought I'd share it. So yeah, it's a worky day and it's probably because I haven't had a cup of tea yet, but I'm not like, I don't know, it feels like a really slow start this morning. I got a cup of tea, so yeah, I'm going to be <laughs> rocking and rolling, chamomile tea, that's the one I'm going to drink now. That's the one that I'm keeping warm because I do drink a lot of tea. Um so yes, so this morning I have edited a video and got that up of the um, my Arteza stuff and I've just been photographing um, it's my sketchbook. This is the artwork for the June collection. It's like a vintage summer feel. So um, yeah, I've just been photographing that and look how, look how nice my art desk is looking. It's pretty clear really, isn't it? quite proud of that really that I've managed to keep it quite clean don't look under the desk but that's clean and this is still clean as well so my little screensavers come on so yeah going to be editing the artwork I find myself some tunes to put on because um, I feel like listening to some tunes sometimes I'm quite happy to work in silence and that's I think because I've got a small child who's um, can be quite uh, noisy chatty um 
And so sometimes I quite like working in silence. I've just noticed I've got my desk is full of rubber. You know those bits that like crumble off your rubber when you're rubbing out? Um, it's full of it. Um, yeah, so sometimes it's quite nice to kind of sit and work in silence because you kind of get a little bit of a headspace. Um, but this morning I feel like banging out some tunes. I'm still... Um, I like Spotify. I'm rediscovering so many tunes that I used to listen to. I love um I love the Easy 80s playlist. I've also got my own 80s playlist because I do love 80s music. Um I've also discovered 90s acoustic playlist on there and the Easy 90s. I'm enjoying those as well. And I'm also using that um Rolling Stones top 500 album list which I'm going through as well. So yeah, I'm going to put some music on and just edit these edit these images and then I can start um, colouring in once they're all once the images are all edited, I can then start colouring them in, and then creating the kit. That's where the fun begins. Putting away to my tunes. Um, I've just been sorting out my colour palette for this collection. I like to try and start out with a colour palette so that I know what I'm doing and where I'm going. So yeah, that's the colour palette for this collection. It's a it's a, like a retro vintage collection summary, so I'm trying to incorporate all those lovely, lovely colours. Been a really, really bad vlogger today. Oh dear, dear, dear. Um, yes, I haven't shown anything. But then, to be fair, I haven't really had anything to show because I'm basically just working and I'll show you what I'm working on. Just like... I get in the zone, you know. Um, so yeah, I've been working on the sticker collection. See that colour palette that I showed you earlier and I've just been, I edited all those illustrations and I coloured them in and I'm, yeah, just working on the stickers um, and all that jazz. I've had more tea. <laughs> um, I'm getting low on my tea. Um, I'm gonna have a little snack because I'm peckish. Um, I'm gonna have a few cashew nuts because I like cashew nuts. Um, and I'm going to have some of these. These are really nice. Really, really nice. I like them. They have that, you know when you really fancy something savoury? They've got their slightly salty tasting. So I don't know if I've got any salt in them actually. Mm, don't know. Yeah. Yes, they have. They go, look, coconut, coconut nectar and sea salt. Um, but yeah, they just have that nice little, mm, that little, oh yeah. Um, so, yeah, 90 calories in there. Um, so yeah, I'm just having a little snack. I'm just working away, cranked up the tunes. I've written myself a list so I can remember like all the stuff that I've got to make for this collection. Cause yeah, I forget, even though I do it all the time, I still forget. So yeah, rocking the tunes, gonna have some snacks as I work. John, oh, you guys know John does the housey thing, the dad thing. He does the childcare on Fridays. He made an awesome rhubarb and red lentil curry. Oh, it was, oh my gosh, it was freaking amazing. And he filmed it, so he's gonna put it on um, his channel which I'll link below, wholesome day. Um, yeah, it's, it was so delicious. Um, our rhubarb is growing like crazy in the garden. And um, yeah, we've been looking at things, other ways that you can use rhubarb other than a crumble, because don't get me wrong, I love rhubarb crumble, but you know, there's only so much rhubarb crumble you can have. And everything in the garden is just growing, growing like crazy. And it was like, let's have a look. And um, yeah, I found, um, no, John, ugh, me. <laughs> Am I going, what am I talking about? Yeah, John. John made it and it was delicious. Really, really scrummy. But it's five past two and I'm hitting that slump. I'm really struggling today, I have to admit. I'm kind of like, I, I think it's hard sometimes when you know you've got to work. I guess I used to feel like this way when I used to work in an office as well. Like, you know you've got to work, but you're just not really feeling it. It's hard, isn't it? It is hard. Um, and it kind of like, sometimes for me it feels worse because I only have like one day and like my Friday, like my one day is both, 
is both mon a is both a Monday, a hump day, and a Friday all in one. So like my morning is kind of like my Monday, <laughs> where I'm like, oh, I can't be able to get going. And then my lunchtime is kind of like my hump day, <laughs> and then towards the afternoon it's like my Friday. It's crazy, I know. Reminds me of the Cure, not the Cure, um, Crowded House, um, Four Seasons in Wonder. Really beautiful sky. I'm gonna show you the sky because this is what this is what I'm looking at right now. This is absolutely lovely. Guys, look at that. Beautiful blue sky today. It's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Loving it. Loving looking at the blue sky. Don't you just hate it when that happens? Open my packet and it goes everywhere. Oh man. <laughs> awake and a little bit more with it to kind of like talk to you guys you can see and probably here in the background there behind me there's a whole lot of printing going on today a whole lot of printing so I have been MIA <laughs> for a little while um did you miss me did you even notice um so yeah, it's been a bit of a crazy May. I'm not gonna lie, it's been crazy. Um, had my parents come over to stay with us, which was lovely. The only downside is that um, I got food poisoning during their visit. I can only assume it's food poisoning because no one else was hit by it. Um, and I was in bed for half of their visit, so I didn't really get to see them that much, which was real poopy. <laughs> oh God. Don't mention that word. <laughs> Don't mention that word. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then I was in bed for a bit after they went as well. I was really struck by it. It was horrible. So nasty. So, so nasty. I haven't been ill for ages. Touch wood, like. And it just really set me back. Oh, and we've had appointments and various things and family occasions and celebrations and so may has just been a complete like where did may go <laughs> but i'm feeling good i'm back up and with it um so i'm desperately trying to catch up i don't normally work on a saturday but just desperately trying to catch up john we had an appointment in the morning yesterday and then john worked all afternoon he's been um trying to catch up he's been working so hard bless him um he now works for four days a week with his employer and he's been desperately trying to catch up on um, orders and we now also supply Lisa at the Lollipop Box Club with stickers so he's been doing those and um, we've got the box subscriptions going out and we've got two um, events in June, um, both of which I'm doing a workshop for. So workshop kits need printing for both of those events, plus um, stock to sell on the shop. So it's all just been a bit 
crazy and because I've been out of action, John's been looking after the little one, holding down a job, I've just been not around because I've been sick. It has just been mental, absolutely crazy. But I'm back, I'm back, back again. It's a really hot day today and sunny skies, which is lovely, puts you in the mood. This morning I have just been um, doing the grass graphics and listing the new collection on the website. You would have seen that collection earlier on in this vlog because I was working on it then. And yeah, I've just listed that up because it's the first of the month, so that's gone up for sale now. I recorded a 50 minute podcast for my Patreons today. <sighs> I'm gonna have a cup of tea and a little snack and then it's back to it. I need to record some videos today as well. And so, yeah, I'm rocking and rolling. So, yeah, I'm not sure. And to the sound of printers, it's all good. You guys do this. I was just tidying up this desk, ready to um, film my arty video. And I thought it'd be really cool to like have some bit of, bit of paper, bit of ephemera um, in it as well. And I have a few bits and pieces that I've been hoarding and storing. Um, and I found this out. This is a potato booklet that I can't remember where I bought it from, but it's got a pencil thing of 50p in here. Um, I do tend to like pick up things if I see them in charity shops or like little bookstalls and things. Um, yeah, and I bought it, you know, thinking I'm gonna use it, gonna rip it up and, use it as collage and things um it's old i found out it's old like 1934 um yeah i have no attachment to it and then i was just about to rip a page out of it and i happened to find that there is such a thing as a recipe dish called anna potatoes oh, there we go look anna potatoes and now i'm like I don't even know if I can cut this up now, rip it up. I don't know. I now suddenly feel a bit remorseful about ripping that up. 1934, that's quite old. So even though I have no attachment to it, really, and I say that because now I do have attachment to it. I don't know. Does anyone else have this issue? Is this just a me thing? I don't know. Like, I see all these vintage things. <laughs> so now I'm probably just going to put it back in my cupboard and hoard it for a little while you guys do this but issued by the potato marketing board so it's actually really interesting so now I feel like if I was to rip this up it's printed in England um, yeah I kind of feel like if I was to rip this up now that I might be destroying a little bit of history oh dear what do, what do I do the books I thought I would show you this um, so this has been on my Amazon wish list for quite a while. Um, I found out about her, this lady Mary, because she wrote um, Katie Morag series, and my daughter is really into Katie Morag. And I remember um, we we got a library book out, and that's how we kind of sparked off the Katie Morag obsession. And I went on Amazon, and I literally just typed her name, the author's name, in. Um, rather than Katie Morag and um, yeah I came up with this book which is A Highland Journey A Sketching Tour of Scotland and as you guys know <laughs> um, we really like Scotland we went uh, for the first time a couple of years ago to the, the Scotland Planner event and since then I think we've been we've definitely been two three that we've been four times, um, and this will be coming up for our fifth time um, in a week or so. Um, but yeah, so this is on my Amazon wish list, which my mother-in-law saw when it was around my birthday. And when they came round the other day, she bought me this, and she said that she saw it in a bookshop at a really good price and bought it for me. So that's just pretty amazing. And... I just cannot wait to like devour it. I think I'm going to take it to Scotland with me um, and read it. But it's just beautiful. I thought you guys would like this because um, it's yeah, sketching and watercolouring. So it's based on um, this one. 
It's based on this book, Art Rambles in the Highland Islands of Scotland by John T. Reed, which I didn't actually realise. So I was like, hmm, that sounds really interesting. And so I looked this up on Amazon and I found this. Um, so I bought this, um, it was two pounds, literally two pounds, brand new, with free prime delivery, which is um crazy price, really. Um, but I was, you know, I was literally just gonna add it to my Amazon wish list, but because it was two pound free delivery, I was like, I can't, I can't pass it up. So I bought it. Now it's it's this copy is slightly disappointing. Um because I don't know why it's so big because it's it's I knew it was gonna it was a scanned um it's a scanned copy of um the, the like a reproduction scanned copy of the book so um so it does tell you that it may have occasional imperfections or missing blurred pages poor pictures um etc etc um so yeah and i think it's true so it says we believe this work is culturally important and despite the imperfections have elected to bring it back into print as part of our continuing commitment to the preservation of printed works um worldwide i guess they've had quite a few complaints about it because it does say we appreciate your understanding of the imperfections but so when i say disappointing i mean like I don't really know why it's so this book is so big when clearly the pages were so small. So it would have been nice if it was a little bit smaller. It's got like a New York Public Library stamp in there. But yeah, it's really interesting. Um I actually do need to have my eyes tested because my eyes are quite are getting worse. Like I'm struggling to to read. I'm quite long sighted and I need to get some new glasses. So I think I will definitely need some glasses before I read this. Um, because the print in it is quite small. Um, but again, I'm looking forward to reading it. I think what I'm going to do is um, I will read this one first, um, and then I will read this one. Because I, I don't know, I don't know, that's how I feel like I want to read it. Uh, but there's a bit in here, I did show on Instagram my stories, but they drop off quite a lot. Um... But I, there's a, a really, really delicious bit. So she talks about, um, she found a copy of his book um, in a cottage that she was staying at. It just, it just sounds all delicious. The maroon and gold embossed front cover of the book did not have a back and the linen thread stitching frayed through the flapping spine. Um, it just sounds lovely. So anyway, so she's talking about, she's going to recreate, retrace his um, it was then that I got the idea to re retrace JTR's footsteps, find the exact spot from which he sketched and redraws the same scene 114 years later. Not only would I recreate his images, I would travel exactly as he did with, and this is the delicious bit for me, a knapsack well charged with stores for the soul, the mind, the brush and the body, and carrying with me a large sketching umbrella, a camp stool, a waterproof case to hold a folio for drawings, 14 inches by 10 in size, and a small courier bag for the colour box, a brush case and a water flask. How delicious does that sound? I love that terminology. Just sounds so delicious. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to devouring this book. Um, and uh, when I'm done with it, I'll probably do a review uh, for you because it is an art book and it is looks like it's going to be scrumptious so as you can see there are tons and tons of sketching and watercolors in here as well as a lot of writing so unlike a lot of art books they're mainly art and very little writing this to me looks more more up my alley because there's just as many words as you know lots to read as well as lots of sumptuous pictures so yeah really looking forward to reading that and now i need to crack on with some work just filmed a q a for youtube and look my microphone because I've got the window open and the birds are singing and John and little one are out in the garden playing so I'll put my microphone on so you can hear me better um but I normally have it like above my art desk like hanging off my tripody thing up there which is very technical it's just a piece of metal from an old bed um <laughs> um so I moved it over here and very technical piece of equipment this a binder clip holding it on so Look at me, the technical genius that your videos 
are brought to you with Go Me Yo. It's my um, abstract art. <laughs> it's this. Um, so yeah, I might also try and sell this. What was I talking about? The trouble is I actually am losing track, to be honest, because I may not have told you guys. I think it might have been in my podcast that I recorded this morning for my Patreons. Um, it's quite... The only thing about... Um, the only thing about doing like lots of different videos and things in one day is you kind of lose track a little bit of who you... What you said to whom. <laughs> but yeah, there's that. One of my abstract paintings that I did on one of those Arteza... Artesia canvas panels. So yeah, I'm going to photograph these and list these, I think. Um, then I need to record another video. I'm not going to do any editing today. Um, the reason I'm not going to do any editing today is because I can quite easily do editing in the evening. It's, yeah, it's a lot easier for me to do editing in the evening than it is filming a, um, a video. So yeah, I'm just going to try and crack out as many crack out as many videos as I can filming today and then I can just spend like an hour in the evening editing. I'm starting to feel tired. It's only half past two. <laughs> only half past two but I'm already feeling tired. So my nose is sore too. Look. Can you see? I had an accident with a, with a glass. I had a glass that smashed and it cut all my nose. Ah, right. I'm rambling, but I'm getting tired. <laughs> right, crack on, next video to make. Go oh, look, my microphone is back on my tripod. So this is a tripod stand, like a normal tripod stand. This metal thing is from a piece of bed that is just kind of stuck on there. And then this was like a five quid jobby off Amazon that holds my phone and it's just it's just bolted in there and this microphone it's just stuck on there <laughs> and plug in and that's it that's my technical technical recording setup nothing fancy nothing fancy at all here just tripod some lights my mobile yep all's good Right then guys, it's half past five, well, 25 past five, and I'm calling it, well I'm not really calling it a day, I'm going to do some more this evening, um, John's going to do some more printing and cutting, um, once Spud's in bed, and I'm going to sit opposite him and carry on working, um, but I'm going to call it a day for this vlog because it's getting long, it's a lot longer than I originally thought it was going to be. So, I'm going to say bye-bye. Um, I'm not sure when I'll be back again with another studio vlog because, um, yeah, I don't know when I'm going to be working and we've got planner events and all that kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, hopefully I'll see you around in the Facebook group or wherever you want to chat to me, um, all that kind of stuff. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.